Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, only believers, Allah, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And let every person look at what he has sent forth for the morrow. What Allah. And again Allah say, fear Allah. Inna Allah bima Surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is khabir. He knows what you do. We find two messages in this verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about at taqwa and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about at takhtir lil mustaqbal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what taqullah? The, the verse begins with, with ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqullah. All the believers fear, fear Allah. Wal tawdur nafsu ma qaddamati li ghad. What taqullah? And again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the same verse, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> At taqwa is mentioned two times in this verse. And it is mentioned repeatedly in the Quran. And that is for at taqib, for emphasis. And to explain the position of taqwa in our deen. Without taqwa, we cannot fully benefit from the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alif Lam Meem, Thalika al Kitabu la wa fi, Huda lil muttaqeen. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins Surah Al Baqarah, Thalika al Kitab, this book, la wa fi, there is no doubt in this book. Huda lil muttaqeen. This book is the guidance for the people who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Does it mean that the people who don't fear in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will not benefit from this book? The Quran is for all. And every individual, whether they believe it or not, they will benefit from the Quran. However, the most beneficiary will be the one who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Quran is, is for those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also to benefit from the Quran, we need to understand the weight of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَوْ أَنزَلْنَا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ عَلَىٰ جَبَلِ اللَّهِ وَأَيْتَهُ خَاشِعًا مُتَصَدِّعًا مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ وَتِلْكَ الْأَمْثَالُ نَضْلِبُهَا لِلنَّاسِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just to show us the truth of the Quran. لَوْ أَنزَلْنَا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ If this Quran was revealed عَلَىٰ جَبَلْ upon a mountain, لَرَأَيْتَهُ خَاشِعًا You would have seen the, humble, the mountain humbly. مُتَصَدِّعًا مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ And at the same time rendering a sender by the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتِلْكَ الْأَمْثَالِ نَضْرِبُهَا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us those examples to the mankind. Mankind has shown those examples Perhaps they will start thinking, they will start reflecting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also talks about in this verse, for each of us to look at what we are sending for God for tomorrow. What are we sending for? For tomorrow. This is about being a futuristic person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is encouraging us to be futuristic person, to have plans. There is no future if there is no plan. And this is why this verse is about being a futuristic person, to make plans for the future so that you are sending ahead before you go to the next life. In order to become a futuristic person, we need a good plan. And we need the willpower to implement that plan. And we need the competency to make a good plan and to deliver a good plan. And we need the intention. These are prerequisites if you want to become a futuristic person. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهِ وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهِ Don't be like those people who forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهِ be not like those people 
who forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What will happen if you forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ Allah will make you to forget your own self. So if you forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will be caused to forget yourself. And this is what Allah is saying, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ do not be like those people who forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if you forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ Allah will make you forget your own selves. And if you forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Khalid, the Creator, and if you forget your own self, what is the point of remembering everything else in this life? If you and I forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you and I forget our own selves, what is the point of remembering about everything else? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ سُلَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ الْفَاسِقُونَ And those who forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are the fasiqun, they are the real transgressors. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying not to forget. But we are insan. And insan comes from nisyan. And this year is forgetting. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying not to forget, but we are inside, which comes from this year, and this year, that's the answer is to forget. Forgetting is not a crime. Forgetting is not a kind of crime. It is only a deficiency. It is an illness. Now, if you have any illness, you must look for cure. So therefore, it requires proper diagnosis, it requires proper prescription, and it requires proper medication. You can't go to the GP to get the medication for this illness. There has to be a proper diagnosis, prescription, and medication from the Creator through the divine guidance. For this illness that you and I have, being in sun, this year and if we forget. And if you forget, Allah is saying that if you forget Allah, you forget yourself. For this, there is only one medication available on the surface of this earth. And that is the reminder, the medication for the illness that you and I possess is the reminder and dhikr. Hence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, well, kill and remind them of that kid. Surely, if you remind them, it will benefit, it will profit the believers. <laughs> and there is not only one verse. The whole Quran is a dhikr. One of the names of the Quran is a dhikr. Like Al Quran and Al Quran. A dhikr is one of the names of the Quran. So therefore the whole Qur'an is the medication for the illness that you and I inherently have. <coughs> so therefore if you look at this whole dynamic is that insan, we are insan and we, and we have inherited, inherited, inherited nature that is nisyan that we forget and that the medication for that is a reminder al dhikr <coughs> So therefore Allah has revealed Al-Quran, the dhikr So insan has inherent nature, the siyan, and that requires reminder al dhikr So Allah has revealed Al-Quran, the dhikr So therefore what we find that insan, we are helped through reminder al dhikr and the siyan is our illness, so we are cured through Al-Quran, al dhikr which is also a shifa. Al Quran is also a shifa. Why is it so important to diagnose your illness, illnesses and actively seek the cure and the medication? That is because it is directly related to success in both worlds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, La yastawi ashabu nari wa ashabu janna, ashabu janna di humul faizun. They cannot be equal, La yastawi. Ashabu nari, the people of hellfire, wa ashabu janna, and the people of janna, they cannot be equal. Because ashabu janna di humul faizun, the people of janna, the dwellers of janna, are the fa 
Papa Izun are the real successful ones. <laughs> it is therefore very important for us to understand the illness that we have and also seek for the right medication. It is it's always there, but it is a matter of, for us to reach out and get the right medication. Otherwise, we will become losers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the tawfiq and the ability to understand and to seek for the right cure so that we become successful in both parts. الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما ينبغي لجلال وجهه وعظيم سلطانه والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقت لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا كاملا ويقينا صادقا وعملا متقبلا وتوبة صادقة قبل الموت وراحة عند الموت ومغفرة ورحمة بعد الموت اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم أعنا حق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأعنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم أصلح قلوبنا اللهم أصلح قلوبنا واستر عيوبنا واغفر ذنوبنا وأحسن خاتمتنا يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا كاملا اللهم إنا نسألك من فضلك العظيم وخيرك العميم يا جواد يا كريم اللهم أعطنا ولا تحرمنا وأكرمنا ولا تهمنا وزدنا ولا تنقصنا وصلنا ولا تعفعنا وآثرنا ولا تؤثر علينا وهدنا ويسر الهداءنا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما عدل ما أحد من علمك فخطب يقلمك وأحسر كتابك ولا الله مع ساداتنا أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن الصحابة المعين وعن التابعين وتابعين بإحسان لا يوم الدين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يسيئون وسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله يعلم بالعين والإحسان وإذا يقوم بها عن المحشاي والمخي والبر يعلمكم تعلمكم تلك Thank you.